40 years ago, one could have reasonably suggested that Tark Zenagiri was stretching his imagination when he named his orphan welfare organization Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust. Located in a defunct Sopor orphanage, this first initiative to mentor children in need was the first in the state. Almost 40 years later, no one can dispute that the Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust is one of the largest welfare organizations in the area. Today, the Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust is a multifaceted non-profit organization with many subsidiary and affiliate units and programs and is celebrating 40 years of honoring the spirit of generosity that began with Tark Zenagiri's vision and has stood the test of time. Nineteen seventy, year of establishment, story of a postcard. A revenue officer in the state government receives a postcard at his residence in Zainagir area of North Kashmir's Sopor town. An orphan boy struggling with stark poverty communicates his zeal to continue his education. The call is responded. Two years later, with the monetary assistance from the officer, the boy is selected for MBBS. Selection of the orphan for medical education inspired a grand philanthropist project in Kashmir's history. In the same year, the officer decides to establish the Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust. The incident gave Taksab the cue that there must be thousands more such needy who, if given assistance, can stand on their own feet, says his son Zahur Ahmed Tark. Late Tark Zainigiri was basically a very generous and a noble person. He had a great love for the humanity. Because of that love for humanity, he wanted to serve those people who did not have anything to live um, upon. These people uh, such as orphans, widows and destitutes. He wanted to address their needs and come uh, to uh, their help. That's why he started Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust in uh, 1972, altruistically and with skimpy uh, resources. What inspired Zainagiri was the idea of orphanages as a remedy for institutional care and welfare of these kids in Kashmir. Thus, he dedicated his life to the service of those most vulnerable in the world. 1973 Year of Registration Making orphanages the primary way of caring for the destitute children the first orphanage was established at Sopor. The trust started its work from a small rented room at Hardushiva, Sopor with 50 children. They were the children from Sopor whose both parents had died and they had nowhere to go. The JNK Yatim Trust got registered as a society under the Society's Registration Act of Jammu and Kashmir under number 186-S-73. 1974 These early efforts, however, were rare. Sensing that there is such a need all over the state of Jammu and Kashmir for orphanages, Abdul Khalik Tak, along with a few associates, started creating awareness about the condition of orphans and widows. This not only helped him to gather orphans, but also collect donations for his orphanage. 1975 
1980, year of establishment of orphanage at Bachi Darwaza, Makhdum Sahib, Srinagar. The Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust registered the first full-fledged orphanage under the name of Gulshan Mahal at Bachi Darwaza under the foothills of Makhdum Sahib, Srinagar. Gulshan Mehal started its work in a single-story house with three rooms. Fifteen orphans were taken in the orphanage in the first batch. It was an initiative taken by only a few people. But now, the mission is led by the common people of the valley. 1981 Year of Lateral Expansion in Services Expanding its services, the Trust was now providing the dietary, wedding and schooling assistance to the destitute and orphans. 1989 Coincidentally, on the 24th of July 1973, the Trust was registered and on the same date, that is 24th of July 1989, exactly after 16 years, its patron and founder passed away. Tak Zainagiri left behind a great humanitarian institution and a huge responsibility. His son Zahur Ahmed Tak was unanimously chosen as his successor and the honours came on to him. Since that day on, we have um, now taken forward the um, mission which was started by late Tak Zanigiri and uh, in the year 1972 and now the Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust has grown into main organization of the Jammu and Kashmir state, the first of its kind because the first uh, orphanage in the private sector was established by the Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust and the first girls orphanage in this private sector was also uh, established by Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust. Same year, the turmoil in the valley increased the number of orphans and destitute multifold. The JNK Yatim Trust witnessed a huge rush of such people knocking at the door for help and relief. Keeping in view the increasing number of beneficiaries and the difficulties faced by them to reach the Srinagar office for assistance, the trust officials with the support of many volunteers came up with the idea of opening offices at district headquarters. Nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety six. The Trust started its branch units at Anantnag and Handwara. Year nineteen ninety eight, two thousand. Establishment of units in Kupwara district. Year 2000 Establishment of Craft Center at Birwa, Bargaon Same year Girls Orphanage at Handwara of Kupwara district This is a far-flung area and caters to the needs of many poor orphans. Same year, the Trust entered into an agreement with Muslim Aid of the United Kingdom. Under this agreement, Muslim Aid is now funding for Qurbani and feeding the fasting program and even for emergency if and when needed. Year 2001 Establishment of Craft Center at Alamgiri Bazaar, Srinagar. Year 2002 
establishment of Banath Institute of Education and Girls Orphanage at Gopalpura, Badgam. double storied sophisticated building with the most modern facilities and has 21 rooms and a computer lab there are 110 orphan girls who are being educated nourished and cared for in the orphanage Same year, establishment of craft center at Gopalpura, Chadura, Badgam. Same year, establishment of Tark Zainagiri Memorial Hostel. Boys' orphanage is located at Salkut, Kupwara. Year 2003, the Trust signed an agreement with the Austrian Kashmir Social Project, founded by late Arshid Nabi Shonto. Under this agreement, almost 215 girls are getting educational sponsorship on a yearly basis. Year 2004, establishment of craft center at Bijbiara Anantanag. And the Trust signed an agreement with ActionAid India International to support more and more affected people in the form of providing income generating units, livelihood support, etc. The agreement is made at the end of each year with ActionAid. Year 2005 Establishment of Craft Center at Sopor Baramulla at Bandipura. Year 2006 Establishment of Boys Orphanage at Singpura Patan. Located at Singpura Patan in northern Kashmir, Beitul Fala Boys Orphanage is catering to the needs of many orphans of the locality. Year 2007 Boys Orphanage at Vesu, Kazigund Anantanag. The orphanage is housed in a single storey building and presently has a total intake capacity of 25 children. The 18 orphans are in the age group of 0 to 12 years. Among them, 10 are in the 0 to 6 years and 8 in 6 to 12 years age group. Year 2008 Establishment of Boys Orphanage at Dulabag, Sora, Sirinagar. The orphanage Gulshan Mehal B is a double storied building and has eight rooms, one library, and a computer lab. The orphanage has a total intake capacity of 25 children and it has enrolled 25 orphans presently, among them. 17 are in the age group of 0 to 6, while 7 are in the age group of 6 to 12 years. Same year, the Trust signed an agreement with Islamic Health to provide education to the orphans. Nearly 200 students are getting their educational expenses under the project of the Trust. Year 
same year, the Trust signed an agreement with Save the Children India. The projects undertaken were Education Child Protection, Social Exclusion, etc. Year 2009 Girls Orphanage at Thral Beitul Afiyat is an orphanage specially for girls. It is situated in Thral area of the Pulwama district. Establishment of Craft Centre at Yaripura, Kulgaon Establishment of Craft Centre at Pulwama Year 2011 Boys Orphanage at Langate, Handwara Establishment of a craft center at Pampur, Pulwama. Boys Orphanage at Islampura, Banihar. Establishment of a craft center at Sumbal, Sonawari, Bandipura. Establishment of a craft center at Gandharbal. Establishment of craft, computer center and orphanage at Janglat Mandi, Anantnag. Establishment of a craft center at Kaimu, Kulgam. Year 2012 The Trust signed an agreement with Orphans in Need, New Delhi, UK. The Trust is now able to cover another 200 orphans for their education and upliftment. These funds are provided to the Orphans in Need on a monthly basis. The Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust has a total of 550 orphans, 80 branches, 11 orphanages, 13 craft centers, 500 wedding assistants per year, 4,500 dietary assistants, 1,000 MAC income generating units, 2,000 schooling assistances. 1,500 medical assistances, scholarships to the meritorious, schooling, child protection, encouragement of social activist, honest administrator and academician through the Tak Zenagiri Memorial Award. At the Jammu and Kashmir Yatim Trust, everything we do is inspired by our enduring mission values and vision. Our values are non-political, non-governmental, democratic, non-commercial, transparent, accountable. Our mission statement is to provide parental care to those children who have lost their parents and help destitute families to make them self-reliant. With orphanages, charity schools, assistance to tens of thousands in need and many more feathers in its cap, the Trust is celebrating its 40th year of service to the nation.